God has placed in Mary the fullness of all good. Therefore, it is from the depths of our hearts, from the very vitals of our being, with all our mind and will, that we must honor the Virgin Mary. Such is the will of him who wills us to have all through Mary, have recourse to Mary. In truth, there is pure humanity in Mary. Pure, not only because she is free of any stain, but also because she possesses nothing but humanity. The son will hear his mother. The father will hear the son. This is the sinner's ladder. This is my greatest confidence. This is the whole ground of my hope. You have found, said the angel to Mary, grace with God. And most happily will she always find his grace. And grace is all we need. This prudent virgin did not seek wisdom, not riches, not honor, not power, but grace. It is grace by which we are saved. One man and one woman, Adam and Eve, have wrought us exceeding harm. Nevertheless, thanks be to God, through one man and one woman, Jesus and Mary, all things are restored. It was fitting that both sexes should take part in our reparation, for neither sex was guiltless in our fall, which weeps over virginity that has been lost and which can be pleasing to God. But without humility, I dare to say it, not even Mary's virginity would have pleased the Lord. Upon whom, he asks, shall my spirit rest save upon him who is humble? This peerless virgin conceived the word of God by her humility and her virginity. Her humility ravished heaven. Her humility it was that drew the word of God from his father's side and led him to descend from the throne of his glory to the depths of our nothingness. 